gentlemen, my name is Kimberly Rollino, and I have had the privilege of being Kelsey's younger sister for the past 21 years. I hope that clears things up for those of you who are wondering whether or not we were twins or if I was the older sister. <laughs> Before I begin, I would just like to take a second to thank those of you who congratulated me rather than Kelsey throughout this past year, whether it was for getting engaged or graduating from college, yet I have, I have yet to do either of those things. I only ask that someday you do not mistakenly congratulate me when these two are expecting someday. Because I probably won't take that as well. Anywho. Growing up, it was pretty much a given that Kelsey and I would have each other to be the one to stand next to us on our wedding day. From uncontrollable laugh attacks and to always knowing what the other one is thinking, to all of those late night girl talks and being able to confide in one another, we have created an unbreakable bond that anyone who knows us has seen. Being born only 15 months apart, we have come to know each other better than anyone else and I have been so blessed to have a best friend and sister like her. I never really told anyone this, but when Kelsey and Thomas first started dating, it was difficult for me to watch her go, because it was the first time she wanted to spend time with a boy instead of me. <laughs> but that is the beauty of life and love. And it brings one of my favorite quotes to mind. It goes like this, ladies, if you run after God like you run after a man, he will send you a man you won't have to run after. <laughs> Kelsey was running after God, and in the meantime, he sent her a man. She had found the one she would spend the rest of her life with, and lucky for me, he didn't mind if this girl third-wheeled it every once in a while. I am not sure if Thomas is what I had in mind when I would try to imagine what having an older brother would be like. But his goofiness and ability to make us laugh sure does fit right into the Rollino house. I guess people can't say they feel sorry for my dad anymore because, well, he's not the only guy. It's hard to believe that my sister is a married woman, but I know that there is so much in store for the two of you. I have seen your relationship bloom with the help of both love and faith, and I know that it will continue to bloom now that you are husband and wife as you lead each other closer to heaven each day. I would like to share with you all a little poem that I found that speaks to people of all ages, both single and married alike. It goes like this. I once thought marriage took just two to make it go, but now I am convinced it takes the Lord also. And not one marriage fails where Christ is asked to enter, as lovers come together with Jesus at the center. But marriage seldom thrives, and homes are incomplete, till he is welcomed there to help avoid defeat. In homes where Christ is first, it's obvious to see those unions really work, for marriage still takes three. Congratulations, Kelsey and Thomas. I wish you all the best. Be sure to keep your focus on God, and he will handle all the rest. <laughs> <laughs>